Hello guys, this is Steve from Trim That Weed. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the meaning, causes, and solutions of Ream Tankless Water Heater Error Code E5. But first, what does Error Code E5 mean? Error Code E5 in the Ream Tankless Water Heater simply means that there's a little problem with the heat exchanger, which makes the water flow rate too high in the system. It could also indicate that there is a blockage or a faulty sensor. The following are some of the common causes of error code E5. 1. Dirty air filters. Combustible air flows to the heater through the air filters. Therefore, when the air filters are dirty or clogged, there will be minimal airflow to the heater, resulting in incomplete combustion. Dust and other debris are common things that make the air filters dirty. 2. Placing the water heater in a less ventilated place. When you place the water heater in a room that lacks proper ventilation, there will be no proper air circulation, which isn't good for a flame. This is especially true if you're using a gas water heater, so you end up getting the E5 error code. 3. Excess water pressure. If the water pressure is too high, it will cause a problem with your water heater since it will not be able to keep up. This causes the heater to have an E5 error code. 4. Heat exchanger problem. The error code E5 in the Ream water heater can appear because of a heat exchanger issue. This problem can be brought about by corroded heat exchanger that doesn't produce enough heat, and that leads to an improvement in complete combustion. 5. Blocked exhaust vent. The exhaust vent is responsible for removing combustion gases, such as carbon dioxide and heat produced by the water heater. If the exhaust vent is blocked, it will restrict the flow of heat and gas, making the heater overheat thus causing the error code. Now, let's look at the best solutions that you can apply to fix the E5 error code. You should remove the air filter and clean it thoroughly with a soft brush or a rug so that you can get all the dirt out. If the air filter is damaged, replace it with a new one. Place the water heater in a well-ventilated room with windows and ventilators. On the issue of excess water pressure, you should try opening the water supply valve halfway. Also, you can opt to replace it with another unit. You should also replace a corroded heat exchanger with a new one. You can also use chemicals like hydrochloric acid to dissolve deposits of white calcium carbonate. Lastly, clean the exhaust vent regularly with a rag or brush, and in case it's broken, replace it immediately. Thanks for watching.